Hey time travelers, welcome to Random Vlog 13. Last week I finally started working on my T-style electric guitar kit, which means Telecaster style, but they can't sell it and call it Telecaster because that word's copyrighted. I bought it like a couple years ago and I've been putting off working on it, blah, 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 drama and all that. My friend Steve heard me talking about the kit once and mentioned that he had some woodworking equipment in his basement. So I went over to his house to get, you know, started on it. I mentioned this kit briefly in a video where my basement flooded. I was scared it was damaged, but luckily it was perfectly fine after I dried it out. I got this particular one at stumac.com and the box looks like this. Whatever, looks like a box. This is what comes in the box. You get like the body and the neck and some electronics and the hardware. There happens to be some additions and replacement parts that I've already purchased separately that some are jammed into this box in a little area on the top right there. So the first thing I wanted to do was cut out the headstock because this because the Fender headstock shape is copyrighted as well. They can't sell you a kit with the Fender Telecaster headstock already cut unless they license it and charge you more. So it comes plain like this. Here's what all the different Telecaster headstock shapes that have been sold by Fender over the years look like when you overlap them. I picked out my favorite one from a PDF I found online and printed out a few copies and headed over to my friend's house. The first step was to cut out the shape in the printout I did, then rub a pencil on the back so later when I trace it onto the wood, it will put a mark. We thought we were genius faces doing it on this side because it was flat. Then my friend Steve realized that the flat side was going to be facing down on a scroll saw and we wouldn't see the line. Oops. Luckily, I printed out extra copies of the blueprint. So I cut out another one, did a pencil rubbing, and we did the struggles of positioning it on the not flat side. I mean the top side, and traced it there. Finally, I took the paper off and traced the line again so it was darker. Steve showed me how he set the thing on a scroll saw so it holds the wood down so it's a little hard to push the wood into the blade so that you don't push it too fast. He also showed me the speed control and we talked about a strategy for cutting it. I made some straight cuts first to get some of the wood out of the way. Random fact, I learned how to do woodworking when I was a kid in my grandpa's garage, but he didn't have a scroll saw. This is way easier than using what I used back then, which is a bandsaw. Maybe this is part of the reason why I broke three of his blades on that bandsaw, and then I was like grounded off the bandsaw, never allowed to use it again. Dear face. So then I did some curved cuts, which each cut getting closer to the shape. And if anyone is asking or thinking, what's that thingy Steve is holding? It's a blowing Matron what's it that blows the sawdust away. Anyways. In the end, we had the rough shape of it. Then we used a rotary tool to sand down the jagged edges of the cuts, you know. This B-roll is from my basement, lol. I didn't think of doing B-roll of his rotary tool at the time. Oops, sorry. A rotary tool is commonly referred to as a Dremel. Even though Dremel is just a brand and people call things by a common brand name sometimes instead of calling it what it is, which is confusing. With the remote extension arm thingy, that makes it easier to control the angle of the sanding and a sanding drum, obviously. Then I had to do the sanding. Steve had the brilliant idea of going outside to the porch to do it. No, it was a good idea. Shut up, shut. I'm not being sarcastic, no. It's so we can have good light and also sit down. I only use the 220 grit sandpaper for this part because I can do the more fine grits later when I'm finishing up the guitar. And this is what the headstock looks like now. Smooth and beautiful. Charlie, you know, this guy, that's on, on my channel sometimes. He asked me to ha if he could have a PlayStation 2. So I decided since I had a stack of them, he could have one. I had a PS2 Slim that's silver that I actually never use. So I'm giving him that one. If you're asking why the accent piece on the top is white, it's because it's swapped with another, um, well, you see. I have four things that look like PS2 Slim. And I swapped around the accent pieces. There's this black one. That's actually a USB hard drive thing I built. See, there's a hard drive. The red one, that's an actual PS2 Slim. And the white one, that's another USB hard drive what's it thing that I built. See, hard drive. I also got him this 128 megabyte PS2 memory card from Amazon. I'm so jealous. Kids don't know how good they have it these days. Back in my day, PS2 memory cards only held 8 megabytes. And they were something like $25 a piece. 
So saving your progress in a bunch of games is a luxury, you see. <laughs> he thinks that's funny. <laughs> I also got a copy of Final Fantasy Origins for the PlayStation 1. So Charlie could see if he likes RPG games, as it has Final Fantasy 1 and 2, and they're really, really easy to get through. He asked for Gran Turismo, so I'm also letting him use my friend's copy of Gran Turismo 3. That's um all scratched up. Hopefully it works. I went through my games and found something that is also at his current skill level, you see. He hasn't played any complex games yet, just Android games. This is Star Wars Starfighter. It's a space combat sim, and it's fun. As you can see, I don't scratch my games, lol. And no console gaming setup is complete without its cables. I went through my stuff and got all the things. And also got a component cable off of Amazon to get him the best picture quality possible. He says he has a TV at his mom's house in his room and has these connections. I hope he's right. Another thing happened, and this is a tech thing. For dudes. So dudes, pay attention. I've been looking for a replacement for my beard and hair trimmer for a while. And I finally found one on Amazon that has all of the things I need. And more. It has instructions, duh. And a cheap, barely there kind of a bag. Whatever. And a nose hair trimmer. Body hair thing. Precision trimmer. Beard trimmer. And of course, the coup de grace requirement for me. A hair trimmer. For your head. Because I cut my own hair. Why? Not because of COVID. Now I've been cutting my hair for like a year and a half longer since before COVID because I got tired of hairstylists not giving me the same results every time. And I thought, what's the best way to get the same hairstylist every time so that the quality of your haircut gets better every time? And it was a genius moment. Like, cut your hair your damn self. Charlie's poking me. What? Oh, he means me. Me cut it. Right. Anyways, back, back to the sort of unboxing. And in the box, it has a bunch of attachments and a USB charger, which the manual says charges the device in an hour and a half. It has a lithium ion battery and a display that shows you how many minutes it, the charge it has left. Sweet. I use it to trim up my beard up nice and cut the hair on my head with this trick where I use the front facing camera on my Galaxy Note 4 as a two way mirror, kind of. You like, you hold it like this and you can see the mirror behind you. That way you can see the back of your head. And after all of that, check it out. It says I have 55 minutes of charge left. Sweet. Hey, new viewers. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, get subscribed so you can see more content like this. I do random stuff with this guy. He's pretty cool. And whenever he uploads his video to his channel for testing out the PS2, I'm going to link it as a card right here. And now, enjoy this random thing. This is a comic thing I wrote a couple years back. It's a thing that I think about saying to people, but I never say to people. For example, I've been talking to somebody in IT tech support, and they say something like, I really don't know how I lock myself out of the computer. And I think to myself, but in this comic, I say it out loud. Who are you lying to? Me or yourself? Hmm. You're right. Oh, my God. Wah. Yeah, well. Yeah, whenever people say that to me, I don't know how I lock myself out of a computer. Or I don't know why it won't let me in with my password. I, I'm just like, stop the game and click forgot password. And now for this week's dad joke. And this is from a couple weeks ago. My dad texted me and said, I just watched a documentary about beavers. It was the best damn show ever. And I did not respond to that at all. So he sent me another dad joke. Want to hear a joke about paper? Never mind. It's terrible. Char you can't hear Charlie because he's not mic'd. He says that that was bad. And that's what I said. So if you guys like the enjoy this random time and dad joke part, click like below and comment below that you enjoy this type of content. Now for the final bit of this episode. In a previous episode, I showed some kittens that my neighbor had. And a commenter said they'd be interested in adopting a kitten. Well, there's some new kittens there. See how they're scared of me? They heard me coming. And they all trying to walk away from me and stuff. But here, I'm skipping to part where I try to walk towards them. And look, it's scared. But I think this one didn't run away like the others because it's kind of like got his eyes all boogered up. You know, kitty cat calms down when it smells me. And then I can give it a pet. 
So hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Get Send me a private message to see if you're interested in getting one of these kittens because they're literally strays. All right, well, thanks for watching. That was it. And random guest, well, he wasn't part of this video, but he was part of this video, if you know what I mean. Yeah, there's... There's free kittens for you to get. Yeah, that's if you know how to raise kittens from, you know, being strays and train them and all that. Make sure they're cleaning out their eyes and give them the right kind of milk and all that or whatever. But probably they'll be weaned pretty soon. I've been Robert Jean and... I've been Elemental, please. Yeah, he was just a random background character, but now he's talking. But click on one of these videos up here. Or you could check out his channel right here, or you can subscribe to my channel right there, or you can hit me on a social networking thing over here. Bye.